One of the biggest surgeries that I do is called the Brazilian butt lift. And so I get asked this question all the time. And this is the question is, is this fat permanent? Such a huge, hot, kind of requested procedure that I'm doing as an aesthetic plastic surgeon. Um, this surgery's been around for about a good 10 years. And the whole big concept of it, if you don't want a BBL is, it's called the Brazilian butt lift, is the point of it is we're taking fat from other parts of your body. So you're like your waistline and the back, kind of those stubborn areas, maybe your inner thighs. And we're contouring those areas and we're taking that fat and we put it in the body that you want it, where you want it in your body. So typically women want a little bit more curves, they want that snatched waist, that real tight snatched waist, and a full around or bottom. So they have a little bit more, they're a little more curvy, and it's just a, very much in a, more of an exotic kind of curvier look that women are desiring. And it is something that we do extremely commonly, um, especially down here in Houston, Texas, in the South, in the South United States. And so the big concept of this surgery is, is that this procedure is a permanent change in your body forever because I'm taking fat from one part of your body and moving to another part of your body. And so I get asked this question all the time. And this is the question, is, is this fat permanent? Will it always be there? And the answer is yes. The answer is yes. Why? And the reason why is because you're born with a certain number of fat cells at birth. That's it. So these little fat cells can grow exponentially big. They just, it's just a nucleus with a cell membrane and they get fat molecule and they just get bigger and bigger and bigger. It's like a balloon that can never pop. And so it depends on your diet. If you gain, if you are a little bit heavier, those fat cells are huge, but imagine there's thousands of them, right? So it's all about just transplanting kind of those seeds, those, those cells into the parts where you want it. And so those fat cells are still responsive to weight fluctuations. All right, doctor, so if I gain 50 pounds after procedure, what happens? Your butt get real big. Let me tell you about that. You get real big, okay? So, oh, but then my arms got big and my legs got big. Well, why, my fat moved. It didn't move. The reason is you gained 50 pounds and the areas I did not touch on you, which are your arms and your legs, they still gained weight normally because I didn't touch them with liposuction. But your waist and your tummy is always be flatter and you got this big old butt. That's a 50 pound weight gain and vice versa. Vice versa, I lost 50 pounds after my BBL and my fat went all, it all went away. But the reality is, is that you lost 50 pounds across your entire body. And actually your butt is a lot bigger had you not done that procedure. It's always with you. Those fat cells are always there. They're permanently on your body. Again, it's the same concept. Like some women just have bigger, bigger thighs. Some women just have bigger breasts. Did you have more fat cells in that part of your body? So this is a permanent change in your, how you gain and lose weight forever. No buts about it. Sorry guys, I don't mean to butt in. <laughs> This topic can be a little cheeky. Please follow me down and subscribe on my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Give me some comments and I'll keep giving me more content. Thanks again. Thanks for following.